Throughout this bull run, one of the strongest trends we have seen play out over and over has been new base layer protocols having periods of intense adoption where large amounts of money enter the ecosystems being built on top of them and the native token along with many of the tokens of projects they are seen significant growth. Some examples of chains this has happened to previously to include are, of course, the Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Phantom and Polygon. Today I'm going to be telling you all about Nier and some of the products building there as Nier is starting to see a lot of hype around it as people try it out and discover its unique advantages. I will also be covering the Ethereum Layer 2 Aurora and it is actually built on top of the Nier protocol and has been seen even more adoption and use than Nier itself thanks to its EVM compatibility. In this video I will be explaining how Nier and Aurora works, how to get started using them for yourselves and cover some of the most popular products live right now that you can try out for yourself. Before I get started with that make sure to subscribe and activate the bell icon so you do not miss out on more videos like this as well as everything else I post on the channel of course. Before I get into the details I want to give you a bit of an explanation of how Nier and Aurora are connected as they work differently than most other chains out there. Nier is a standalone layer 1 protocol with its own consensus mechanism. It is not just another Ethereum clone with a few things changed like many of the other chains we are seeing, uh, but rather it was built from the ground up to be highly scalable, interoperable and carbon neutral. However, the team behind Nier recognized the advantages of providing EVM compatibility such as the ability to quickly build out and grow a DeFi ecosystem and bring in new users who are familiar with the EVM user experience. To facilitate that same experience but with uh, the scalability and other advantages of the Nier protocol, they created Aurora, an Ethereum layer 2 with EVM compatibility. Aurora is unique in that it is literally a smart contract on the near network rather than its own standalone chain. This means that Aurora utilizes the same consensus mechanism and validators while still allowing things like copying dApps from Ethereum and the use of Metamask. Additionally, Aurora is different from most other EVM protocols in that it utilizes Ethereum as the base token. There is an Aurora governance token, but Ethereum is what is used for gas. So now that you have a better idea of how Nier and Aurora are connected, let's get into some of the details on what sets Nier apart from other chains and why people are excited about it. The Nier mainnet went live in April of 2020 with the goal of removing the barriers to widespread adoption of Web3 technology. To do this, Nier was designed to be highly scalable, have an intuitive and progressive user interface and experience, provide fast and cheap transactions, support interoperability and be carbon neutral. To achieve their goal of supporting 100,000 transactions per second, Nier is implementing a form of charting and unique block generation scheme called Doomslug that works in combination with their proof of stake consensus mechanism. Transaction fees are already very cheap at around a cent, but once the net Network is fully upgraded, the team expects them to be around 10,000 times cheaper than on mainnet Ethereum. To use Nier, you will need to create a new wallet, which you can do either through their site or through a wallet browser extension that supports the Nier chain. One other aspect of Nier worth mentioning is that the team behind it is very well respected in the crypto industry for their technical skills. While I am sure fast and cheap transactions are attractive to anyone who uses mainnet Ethereum, not everyone is willing to learn how to use a new wallet and developers are not always willing to learn how to work with a new chain. These are some of the reasons why Aurora was implemented in spring of 2021 and why it has been gaining popularity as more people find out about it. Aurora has a 1 second block time, a 2 second transaction confirmation and extremely cheap or even free transactions. To explain that last part, Ethereum is used for transaction fees but as of now, gas is actually set to zero to encourage adoption and make it as easy as possible for new people to try things out. In the future, when there are gas fees, they will be extremely cheap. Getting started with using Aurora is as easy as adding it as a new network in your MetaMask wallet or other Web3 wallet using the details provided here on the site. You can then bridge some tokens over to the network using the native Rainbow Bridge or a variety of others such as Synapse Bridge. 
If you do decide to try out either Nier or Aurora and do not know where to get started finding things like Dexest farms and other protocols on them, a good resource is DeFi Llama. As you can see here, not only can you see the TVL of the chain in each protocol, but if you click on these you will find more information including the sites for them. As you can tell, there are a lot of uh, more options for protocols to try out on Aurora than on Nier currently, which is another sign of how EVM compatibility really helps with adoption. Of course, there are not the only protocols available on these chains, but they are a good place to get started and get a feel for the networks, especially near as it is going to have more differences than Aurora. Just to show you all one example on Aurora, if we take a look at TriSolaris, we can see that it is the most popular DEX on Aurora so far. Along with the standard swapping and liquidity provision features, TriSolaris also offers their own farming options and single-sided staking for their native Tri token. The interface is similar to most other DEXs, as is the case with most of these projects. You will find, however, that some of the protocols on Nier look a bit more original as they are not all direct forks. For example, if we take a look at Ref Finance, one of the more popular DEXs on Nier, it is similar but differs in a few ways, such as having a separate page for swapping stablecoins. One other project I want to talk about today is today's sponsor for today's video, and that is Lunar. So Lunar has the goal of reinventing and streamlining the crypto user experience through a revolutionary platform that combines all the tools crypto crypto investors need and use in a single place. As I'm sure many of you already know, there are a lot of different tools that can be used when investing in and trading crypto. There are sites like CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap that provides prices and other information for coins. There are of course centralized and decentralized exchanges as well as exchanges for NFTs. There are portfolio tracking services, wallets, charting tools, and much more. Additionally, many of these tools do not support all the different chains available, meaning you have to find alternatives. Lunar is creating their platform to combine all of those tools and more into a single easy to use product powered by their native LNR token and enhanced by Lunar Crystal NFTs. While all of those services I mentioned are not new ideas, having access to them all from one place is definitely something a lot of crypto users would be interested in. This approach is why some people have been calling Lunar the Apple of crypto, as Apple achieved this success not by creating new products, but by improving the user experience of existing products. Something else that Lunar will be offering will be the Lunar Academy, where people will be able to go through a crypto masterclass and learn everything they need to get started. In terms of trading, Lunar will support cross-chain trades for most tokens and NFTs and do so more efficiently than on alternative platforms. They will also likely have a fiat on-ramp. The L and R token will have a wide variety of utility within the platform and also rewards holders through 3% reflections. Additionally, on each transaction, 3% will go to liquidity, 5.5% go to growth and development, and 0.5% to holders of Lunar Crystal NFTs. The whitelist for that NFT collection is live right now on the site if you're interested in that. The collection will consist of 8,000 crystals of varying rarities, which will unlock special powers and privileges within the Lunar ecosystem. If you want to learn more about Lunar, you can do so through the link in the description. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in the next one.